This is our BMW i3. We call him Rex. He's a daily driver and still gets a lot of stares 10 years after the first one rolled off the line. The i3 is a fascinating look at what BMW thought the future of the automobile was a decade ago and is still a cult classic car with immense appeal to many owners. Let's explore why this car is so loved, what BMW got right, and why the i3 is no longer in production. Welcome to The Fleet. Let's go back to 2007. In the United States, George W. Bush was still president. In the UK, Tony Blair, then Gordon Brown, were the prime minister. The first iPhone was introduced, RIP Steve Jobs, in 2007, BMW launched Project I, a group within the company whose mission was to develop sustainable and visionary concepts for mobility with an assignment to develop new and trend-setting products. Born out of this effort was the Mega City Vehicle Concept, which then became the i3 we all know and love. One thing to appreciate is how many things from the early concepts actually made it to production. Things like the rear hinge rear doors, seamless glass tailgate, open front footwells, and even the steering wheel and dashboard design. Project I brought a fresh approach to what a BMW could be and was very different from other BMWs and EVs of the era. A lot of money was invested in new technologies, facilities, and process development to make the i3 a reality and propel BMW forward. As concept cars began making the rounds at auto shows, it was very clear that BMW was heading in a new direction with the i3. Whether you love it or hate it, the i3 is uniquely styled and still stands out after 10 years on the road. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's hear more about the i3 from its exterior designer, Richard Kim. So this has been an amazing opportunity. This is a dream project. Uh, we were able to build and design a car from scratch, a blank sheet of paper. We we're able to have all the best of the best stuff and all of the most creative ideas. We've incorporated that into uh, uh, one very nice package for the i3. I think BMW nailed it with the i3's design. It has a healthy dose of futurism while still remaining approachable. The exterior design is purposeful and shares some concepts with BMW's mini brand with two-tone color schemes, wheels pushed to the corners, and short front and rear overhangs. Your choice of wheels have a huge impact on how the car looks. There's a nice selection of big wheels starting at 19 inches and topping out at 20s from the factory. True to its original Mega City vehicle concept name, the i3 is a dream to drive in urban environments. Even with the optional 20 inch wheels, the ride is well damped and comfortable. With the low center of gravity, ample torque, low weight, direct steering, and rear-wheel drive, it's fun to zoom around in while not feeling like a total appliance. Just don't take corners too fast because the tall body and skinny tires cause more leaning and sliding than you'd like. Driving is one thing, but how's parking? With a tight turning radius, excellent visibility, and small exterior dimensions, the i3 can work its way through traffic and park pretty much anywhere. It's even easier if you have the parking assistance package. This technology has been around for a while, but it's still super cool to see it in action. Perfect for those who hate parallel parking and curved wheels. Let's go from parking to practicality. There's plenty of room in the back for your shopping and a little bit more in the front. The i3 might be a small car, Hello. but it's amazing how much we've been able to pack in there. Yep. Even a full-size adult bicycle with the front tire still attached. I see you in the front, Olive. There's a ton of room inside for the driver and front passenger as well, with thoughtful material choices and a premium vibe. 
It's really nice to have a small car with high-end features and finishes, because most manufacturers put their fancy things in their larger cars. Entering the i3 is like entering a sea of sustainability. BMW went all in on lowering the car's carbon footprint. Let's check out a few of these environmentally friendly features. Features such as the leather trim, CFRP roof, seat and door fabrics, dashboard cover, natural wood trim, and plastic body panels. Uh, we, of course, want to combine the idea of sustainability, responsibility, together with the idea of emotion. Nothing gets me more emotional than good engineering. So let's talk about the i3 special sauce. CFRP, carbon fiber reinforced plastic. It's responsible for a huge part of what makes the i3 so special. Well, the benefits are, of carbon are that it's a very light material. It has a weight advantage of over 50% versus steel and still over 30% compared with uh, aluminum. It's really a precondition that uh, uh, followed from our premises in, in Project I and that we said we wanted to really change the production of the vehicle and the entire value chain to lower the CO2 footprint as much as possible. CFRP's benefits include low weight, high strength and rigidity, greater energy efficiency, and no rust or corrosion. The i3 was the first mass market car made largely from CFRP. To put this in perspective, the BEV i3 at launch weighed 2,860 pounds. An equivalent Nissan LEAF was 3,326 pounds, and the extra weight expends more energy and makes the car slower. The i3 was designed on a unique platform, not shared with any gas or petrol models. The base was the drive module, made from aluminum and containing the drivetrain components and batteries. On top of that sat the CFRP Life module, or passenger cabin structure. Attached to the life module were non-structural plastic body panels. Put together, the sum of the parts was light, strong, and safe. Production of the i3 started in 2012 and stopped in 2022, with no plans for a follow-up. The leadership and strategy changed at BMW, and they wanted to do things differently and blow things up. While the i3 and i8 were very different from their stablemates, the current crop of electric BMWs shares many similarities with the gas versions. It reduces cost, complexity, and supply chain issues, but also erases many of the benefits of the bespoke engineering. Another thing is the insatiable demand for SUVs, especially in the United States. Finally, the price and range at launch didn't do the i3 any favors. Used, it's a great deal, but the one we have was over $54,000 new. That's a hard sell for a compact city car. Some people saw the electric range figures and wrote the car off, even though many studies showed that the mileage was workable for the majority of drivers, especially with the range extender or bigger battery models. The team that made the i3 has since been scattered throughout the auto industry, but they were incredibly proud of what they had created. The opportunity to design the BMW iCars was probably uh, something that you probably once in a lifetime uh, will ever experience. If you ask me my personal feeling uh, regarding now uh, this completed car, uh, the production i3, uh, it would probably take me a whole day to tell you all the things I really love on this car. Uh, what I ex essentially love is the general ID uh, of the car. Let's get one thing cleared up. Even though it has the name, the Asian market i3 is nothing like the real one. The i3 as we know it is gone, but this quote sums it up best. I still fulfill you know, to this statement. You know, like uh, This is a car which is unique uh, for very unique people. It is a unique car. The i3 was something new and refreshing from BMW. It's not for everyone, but it's not every day that you get to drive a car that's so close to the original concept. It's fun to drive, looks like nothing else on the road, and the materials and engineering that went into it are amazing. 
Dankeschön, I3. We'll see you on the road. Subscribe for more, and Olive and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. It offers you many other possibilities or uh, an additional freedom. Uh, the way you could, for example, sit in this car, for example, while uh, waiting. It happens to me uh, sometimes to simply grab a book while waiting in the car, uh, if I need to. Uh, and basically, like I can also sit, for example, like that, lie on the door panel, uh, which is also designed in a way that you can also lean on that. So this is also one of the many ideas that we have in the interior of the i3, which basically depict the idea of Next Premium, but also qualifies on the aspect and how clean is it, how clever it is, and also how premium it is.